Today's Thursday, September 2nd, 2010, and you're watching the Joe Somebody Show. So today I kind of wanted to show you a little bit about me and where I live and you know what, what goes on in my daily life. Uh, so what I'm going to do is give you a small tour of uh, my house, uh, my car, um, and, and some of the stuff I do as a hobby besides making vlogs. I've only lived where I live now for uh, a couple of months, but uh, uh, I like it so far. It's a decent house, decent price, um, so it's, it's all I need. So I'm going to give you just a quick tour of, um, of the house starting at the outside. So uh, first of all, my beautiful view of the mill. I don't know how well that's showing up, but that is a feed mill. And it's somewhat noisy and, and very big and probably ugly to most people, but I don't mind it. I'm kind of used to it. Uh, especially at night, it's actually lit up with lights. It looks pretty neat. So. Oh well, but here's the front of the house. Kind of a uh, a quaint two-story. Um, it's not it's not really big, but you know it's big enough. <clears throat> I'll take a a little walk around. I want to show you some other things. One of the other things about my house is my radio tower. Uh, I do CB radio and ham radio. Uh, so uh, everywhere I go, I put up a tower. It's a 20-foot tower, 20-foot mast pole, and uh, it's right here, starting at the ground. It's pretty tall. Um, I talk kind of all over the world off of it so um, it's got to be pretty good size but um, anyway let's go back over here for just a minute get on the side here and I want to show you my car uh, it's a 99 Crown Vic police interceptor it was a, a police car and um, once it was decommissioned it was sold at auction to a, uh, a car dealership that's somewhat local and I found it actually on Craigslist went and got it. Um, it was black and white when I got it. I painted it solid black and put a push bumper on the front and stuff just to really like the way it looks I guess but um, that's my car. It gets a lot of attention. Some good, some bad but uh, it's a really good running car. Plenty of power. Um, I can run all my CB equipment in it and uh, it's got a really nice stereo in it and it, it does really nice. Now we'll move to the inside of the house. I got my awful dog Otis who chews on everything all of a sudden say hey to the camera and to YouTube Otis very good uh, and here is the living room regular living room with the couch it's almost too big to be in here my beautiful girlfriend Marlena she don't say much <laughs> oh. uh, our TV and stereo stuff and here's the kitchen standard small kitchen <laughs> everything in here will be described as small the bedroom which this camera does not pick up very well nobody wants to see a bathroom A view of the backyard. It's got a slight hill and it's a decent lot for a subdivision. And we go upstairs. We have the nothing room, which is nothing. Another bathroom. And the best room of the whole house, probably. Probably the best room of the whole house. 
This is the computer CB radio ham radio room, the man cave as we sometimes call it. But this right here is the Yezu FT950 uh, HF plus 6 meter ham radio. If anybody actually knows what that is, um, that's what I use to talk to uh, local people around here and across the U.S. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, divert my attention a little bit to some stuff that I found on the internet today that I found interesting. The first thing I saw was that IBM has introduced the world's fastest processor. It clocks in at 5.2 gigahertz. That's fast. Though it won't be available for consumer purchase for a while, it's still really neat. Also, I ran across an article of a Detroit juror that was expelled for posting the verdict on her Facebook page. Uh, when I first read the article, I was like, well, what's the big deal? That's free speech. That's what America is all about. The problem is, is that she stated she was looking forward to giving the guilty verdict. The trial wasn't even over. There wasn't a verdict. That's a big problem. Then I ran across an article about a man named Philip Warren. Philip spent the last 62 years of his life assembling a 432 ship armada out of matchsticks and wooden matchboxes. The pictures look pretty neat, but I can't imagine spending that much time on something that useless, except vlogging. I spend a lot of time doing this. And it wouldn't surprise me if some of those matchsticks were used to build the tunnels in the mines that collapsed in Chile about a month ago. When it collapsed, it left 33 employees stranded over 2,200 feet underground. All 33 men are okay, but are still trapped underground, and they say it could be another three months before they're able to get them out. You're probably thinking to yourself, boy, I hope they get overtime, but that's the bad thing. Not only were they not getting overtime, they're not getting paid at all. In fact, the company says they don't have any money to pay their wages or absorb lawsuits. As a matter of fact, the company's not even helping with the rescue efforts. That makes me appreciate my job a lot more. Anyway, that was just some stuff I ran across today while I was on the internet. But that's all for the show today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links to everything I talked about are in the comments below. We'll see you next time.